you travel quite a bit. Yes. Okay. Um, you work cruise lines. You work corporate events around the world. Yeah, uh, cruise lines, and I've worked a lot in Japan. I mentioned that before. I've been to Japan probably about 12 times. Uh, went to Singapore once, Canada many, many times, even though I don't count that as international. You know, you can drive there. It's not international. Okay. Uh, uh, well, well, can you share any t tips uh, that you've learned about working in Japan? Yes. In Japan, unless you speak the language, you're going to have to work silent. For ventriloquist, I don't see how that's going to work. Uh, for you, yeah. Unless you want to learn Japanese real quick. That's got to be difficult. But when I first set out to do magic full time, I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in. Did I want to be a comedy magician? Did I want to be a, a silent manipulation type of an act? Uh, I put together the contest act and went to the magic conventions. And that was always the silent, you know, look at me, I'm cool magic type of an act. Then I had an opportunity to go to Japan. So I took that same silent manip act that I had and took it with me there. And it worked out okay, but there wasn't that connection that you get with an audience when you talk. So I developed some of my comedy magic, my talking pieces into silent pieces. I used to do a, a character in my show that was a nerd character. And at the time, I, I not only had hair, I had long hair. This was back in the 80s, so okay, you can probably that. relate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I would take the hair and put it underneath the baseball cap, put the nerd glasses on, and I'd do a costume change. And the hat would come off and the hair would come down. And in Japan, and actually here in, in America too, but really, really in Japan, they thought it was another guy. They thought it was two different people. They had no idea that it was me because there was such a drastic change. And I kind of took that, and so I... I had the nerd character and I expanded him more and started just doing silent stuff. But as the nerd character, I could do comedy magic, pantomime, that sort of a thing. So I developed probably an hour and a half worth of material that I could do without talking, wow. which enabled me, I could, I could work anywhere in the world now. I didn't have to work just America or Japan. You know, if I learned some language there, I could work anywhere. So Basically, if you're going to work overseas, figure out how to work silent is probably the best way. Silent and if you can add comedy to it, because there's not a lot of people doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, a contract I've worked over there again and again, they said the thing that they really like about me is that I do comedy magic. Most of the magicians they have are the serious type of thing, but hardly any comedy magicians unless they, unless they speak Japanese. <laughs>